Hello buddy, my name is Eric and today we're going to be testing Windows Malware on Linux under Wine. Now this is something that I have seen a fair amount about on the internet. And of course this was always a concern when Wine, which is a project that allows Windows programs to run on non-Windows operating systems, of course, the first thought was, well, then couldn't malware run? And in theory, the answer is yes. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. So if Wine is capable enough, it should be able to run some malware. So the first one we have is something I downloaded from Enderman's GitHub, which is a virus that creates a fake activation. Now, in theory, the less reliant a virus is on problems with Windows, the more it uses traditional APIs, the more likely it is to work. So, let's see what this one does. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll install mono. We'll install everything it asks for. I don't, I don't mind. I want to, I want this to work. And there are a couple of options. It might actually open the Trojan, or it might completely fail. Okay. Did we get something? Looks like something opened, but now it's gone again. So it may not actually it's showing me a lot of errors. Doesn't mean that it's not going to work. But while that's going, I'm going to try and find some other gems. So let's go for MEMS, because MEMS doesn't require any Windows exploits. So I'm fairly optimistic this one's just going to work. Okay, this one doesn't seem to work. So let's see. I'm fairly optimistic MEMS will work at least a little bit. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I do want to execute this moment. So, at least the warning for MEMS worked. Now, the only way I could see... Uh, yes. Execute it. So, I think Wine has its own equivalent of Notepad and the other Windows utilities... So, I imagine that MEMS will run. Oh, I think I just saw the first sign of MEMS. Now, I don't... Well, for one, this is a GPT drive. So, I'm pretty confident that the bootloader won't get hit. Oh, well, that's interesting. Let's go. Let's just run top and see if it is... Secretly running. Yeah, okay. Those Endermen. Okay. Oh, and the fake activator just worked! Okay, that's interesting, but the sound doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if that's a problem with the VM or... Okay, wine has just popped off. Okay. Let me just test... Okay, so for some reason, the VM sound has broken. I don't know if that's one of the viruses. Um, okay. Is that a wine error? Get dank antivirus, mate. Okay. We also have a fake Windows activation. Let's try and activate Windows. Um, and this is a real... Um, a real copy. Okay. Uh, wine box.exe okay it's setting up new stuff so none of the visual glitches that would normally happen if you ran uh wine would work on a linux okay how do we can we kill this i imagine because well i i know we can kill this through linux tools because it's not going to bypass it uh box.exe where's our other one Box.exe. Is this box.exe? Okay, let's kill box.exe. Okay. Don't know if we still have any remnants of MEMS. Okay, box.exe seems to have re reopened itself. Wine device.exe. Gecko main. Okay, well, let's, let's keep going. So, what else might be of interest? Colorbug 000 Spark. Let's go to Trojans and let's try. Uh, maybe jokes are actually likely to be the most, uh, as long as they don't, like this one, I think if it works the way I think it's going to work, this one I expect to work. Okay, activate Windows has just reopened itself. Okay. 
That's interesting. So, activate Windows, we're just going to extract this. Show the files. Okay, and now another wine. Oh, right, we're going to go into downloads. Okay, we're already in the right folder, so now we want to do wine, enderman, ch at. So this is a fake update, and this will... Oh, okay, this one worked exactly as intended. Other than the fact that it doesn't cover my Ubuntu dock, so it's not completely able to overwhelm the system, which makes sense, because... This is a different operating system. This is not Windows. So can we... Okay, 3%. So it's actually making progress as well. Okay, box.exe. But I imagine we can... Okay, it's, it's successfully controlling the screen. Alt F4 kills it though. So that's sort of... That's sort of in the middle. I don't know how it would... I don't know how it works. Okay, let's try... Oh. Oh, seems like Mems is doing something, finally. Rogues. Okay, these will be fun. Antivirus. Let's see if Antivirus Platinum can get rid of everything we've installed. Because I trust... I like Antivirus Platinum. It sounds like it's going to be a very premium antivirus that will get rid of all the other viruses. Oh, that might have just not. Okay, box to DXE. A second one of these have spawned. Oh, that's now making. Okay, let's try another. Let's try a, a very old rogue because they're more likely to work. Because wine doesn't have all the latest uh, libraries. Occurred? Did I type it wrong? Okay, that's interesting. PK come hat. Okay, so it can't do that interesting okay what else do we have a uh, security defender another very trustworthy you can get something that will completely take care of all of these viruses okay that one worked Okay. Now, will it actually do anything? That's what we're about to find out. So go... Let's see how secure... Well, it still says that it's running, but it... Oh! Okay, another, another third uh, Windows activation. As far as I can tell, the real documents folder has not had any... Nothing has been touched on our files, which makes sense. Because this is... Because Wine is... It's not a sandbox, but it doesn't... It would require malware to be wine aware in order to do anything to the broader system. So it's not a sandbox, because it could easily be bypassed if the malware knew what wine was. But it's also not quite as bad as just running it natively. So, okay, the next thing to see is can we kill all of these by doing kill all wine server? Be the wrong just to kill all wine. System D. We got all these different demons. Okay. 
Okay, oh, oh, there's an obvious way of doing this. Kill asterisk.exe. No process found. NANI?! Is that just... Okay, that's interesting. So it might just be using... Okay, let's do... But we, we know we have these box.exes. I swear this should work. Kill all... Okay, let's just do wine asterisk. So it's just, it's just doing... Okay, so it seems like they've all crashed. So... I don't know if that was to do with the commands or just they they did all crash, but if they don't come back, that would be fairly good news that they're not going to successfully do anything. Kind of want to see. Okay, so if we just run this the normal way, it just okay, it just runs it in Archive Manager. It doesn't directly open Wine open with another application. Can we just, I just want to see if we can directly through GUI. Okay, you can. And I, I kind of want to see what happens if you try kill mems once you run it. Because most of it didn't work. Just going to see if we can, so there is a wine notepad, so I don't know why it doesn't just open the wine notepad, because it is clearly capable of doing that. But for whatever reason, it's choosing not to. Okay. See if now that we've opened it, it does anything. Because it takes like 10 or 20 minutes to run MEMS the normal way. I've done it before. And it just doesn't want to do anything. So I guess what we've learned is that you can't really... You can run MEMS on Linux, but you can't... Like, it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything exciting none of the graphical glitching works it just does a little bit so that's going to be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it bye